Are you trying to register for a course and feel like you are completely losing your mind? Well, sit back and relax, and we're going to run through the process. You may find a course either through this interactive online e-newsletter on the left-hand side or the list of our professional development opportunities by curriculum area. Let's say you were interested in this course, you might have come here and clicked on the More button or directly clicked on the Register button. On the More button, you're going to find more information about the course as well as the syllabus, so make sure you take a peek there. And again, there's that Register button. You may have also come across that Register button when you came to Virginia's Community of Anytime Knowledge website. If you clicked on the course schedule, you also might have taken a view of the courses clicked on the More button, and then clicked on the Register button. You may also have found it here on Virginia's PBS TeacherLine website. If you might have gone over here to the current course schedule and gone to Virginia course schedule, the national course schedule you registered just a little bit differently, um, which we'll cover at the end. But if you click on Virginia course schedule and then click on here to enroll, you're going to run through the same process. So let's go on back here and just click on register. It's going to lead you to the same page on all those pages. And now the big question is, am I a new user or am I, existing, am I an existing user? If you've taken a course through Virginia's PBS teacher line or the CII within the past, say, maybe five years, you're probably in our system. But if you're not sure, you can come down here and click on System Admin, and that will actually lead you to Angela Gregory's email box and ask her if, she, if you are in the system. Or you can always call her at the 889-9365 number. Let's go ahead and run through as though I'm a brand new user. I'm going to click on New User and take a second to read this information, but basically what you're going to need to do is click on Browse the Public Catalog, accept the terms, and you need to create, once you've found the course you want, you'll need to create a profile and create it just one time, creating a user ID and a PIN number. And we, we recommend that you use these numbers. You're not uh, it's, it is optional, but if you come back to the site, this will help you remember what your login is and password is, since there's so many that you have to remember. So keep that in mind, and you will find this information again when we go into the system. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Browse the Public Catalog, accept the terms, just as we read in the instructions. And I'm actually going to need to click on the course catalog. And if you read down here, this is pretty much the same information that was on that main page that we just read. But I'm going to click on course catalog. I could search by the curriculum if I wanted to, or if I knew a piece of the title, or if I even knew um, the credit type I was looking for, or if I even knew the date. But I'm just kind of curious of everything that's being offered right now. So I'm going to go ahead and click on search, and it'll show me everything that's available. I can either click on the title or register. It's basically going to take you to the same exact spot. I'm going to go ahead and click on the first one, but you'll see there's lots of opportunities, and the dates are listed right here. This is the first day that the course starts. If you also wanted a different view, you could click on View, Schedule, Calendar, and that'll actually lead you to a full calendar if you knew you needed to take it during a certain time period. But let's go ahead and click on the first one, Children's Authors on the Web. Again, if I, was, if I didn't remember what the description was, if I wasn't sure, all that information is here again. And I can click on Request Enrollment. But take a peek at all this other information. The list is here as far as what the cost is. A lot of these are still covered by a grant if you're a CII member or a CII services per participant. And if you're not sure, there are links here as well. CII member listing is right here. And if your school is listed, then you are good to go. And the CI services participant listing is right here. Same thing, if your school is listed, then you are considered a CII services participant. And you would follow the pricing of the CII services participants. Now, if you need to pay, if you're not a member at all, 
Angela Gregory's information is listed right here. There's a 1-800 number as well as her email if you'd like to make payment arrangements. And there again is the cost of the course. Now if this is what you want, go ahead and click on Request Enrollment. Now you'll remember I mentioned you'll need to create a profile. This is the beginning of the profile creation. If you weren't sure if you were a CI member or CI service participant or a non-member, the links are here again. I could actually copy this and paste it over here if I was not sure. And this will give you the full listing. You need to scroll down a little bit on this one, but you can double check just to make sure if you're not sure. And I am a CI member, so I'm going to choose that and then click on continue. Now again, this is the one-time profile, noting here your user ID and your PIN number, what they request that you use to create it. Um, the user ID, or all of this information in red is mandatory. We would like you to give us your work email address. That greatly helps us because otherwise we have to contact you to get that to create the course, your course, um, to create your course account for your online course, we do need your work email address. So once you've filled out all this information, you'll click on add and then you will get an email letting you know that you have registered for the course. Now, back to if I were a, an existing user. So I'm back on this page and I would now click on existing user. Now remember that user ID and the PIN number that we just created? That information is here just as a reminder. So once you've created that profile that one time, you only need to do it once, um, I will, you would then log in with your user ID and your PIN number. This again is if you are an existing new user ready to take a course or you just created your profile and you want to come in and make adjustments or add new courses. I'm going to go ahead and click and it'll take you to again this same layout. Um, actually probably looks like you have a little bit more information because now you're in your full um, profile. So I'm going to click on course catalog. Again this looks just like it did before. Um, again I can click on search and find all the courses. Okay or I can click on view calendar and I could see all the courses that start on this specific day click on view and then you'll see again that register button now again what happens at the end is you'll receive that email letting you know you have registered for the course so if you're still having problems registering online you can click here for a hard copy you can print it out and mail it to WHRO CII 5200 Hampton Boulevard, Norfolk, Virginia, 23508, or fax it to 757-489-0007. Now, the last question that you might have is if you got into the system, if you went into the system and you didn't quite find the course you were looking for, TeacherLine also offers national courses that you need to register for in just a little bit of a different way. So there's also a link here to let you know how to get to the national courses. All the information is here. If you again are a CI member, you can click on, on the listing here. And basically it will lead you to a form which is outside of the registration we were just in. This actually will make sure that you don't have to pay for the course. Now if you're not a CII or CI services participant, then you would actually have to go to the national PBS teacher line website and register at that location. You would find the course here and go ahead and run through their process. If you have any questions or concerns about this registration process, please don't hesitate to give us a call. The number here at WHRO is 757-889-9400. And you can ask for anyone in the education department. We would be glad to help you out. Hopefully this will relax you just a tad bit in order to register and take a course through WHRO, CII, and Virginia's PBS teacher line, or Virginia's community of anytime knowledge. Thank you.